Hey guys, welcome to Dayish's Duelist Duelist Academy. We have, we're doing the duelist side of the name for once. <laughs> hey guys, it's the dude who pulls all the expensive shit, and then the yes, uh, we have the Vanguard. We, we have the Vanguard Good Luck Charm next. And to then, me. you know, we, I'm, since uh, we know Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm Zach from uh, the Goat Guys, and then Danger Noodle TCG. Go check my channels out. The link will be in the description. Um, edit if I watch this. No, put them in the fucking description. Dumbass. Yeah, okay. I forget a lot. I know you do. Well, you did in the last video I was in, so I was like, nice. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so... So, let, let's get started. Family season's right around the corner, boys. Yep. Here we go. Next week. So, of course, the first card we need to talk about. Mine. Yeah, we gotta talk about my dude here. Uh, yeah, this card is inherently degenerate. Um, do I think it's getting banned right now? It's not getting banned. No. Like, the OCG didn't even ban a damn thing. They... What are they semi limited and se and limit metaverse? I think they're both at one from the OCG. No, Mystic Minds, I think, at two. <laughs> okay, well, I don't pay attention to the OCG. Yeah. I've been in and out of the game recently. Yeah, but he still knows his shit. Unlike certain people I know. Um, but yeah, Mystic Mine is an extremely degenerate card. It, and it, it uh, literally supports some of the most degenerate strategies I've ever yes, seen. Yes, there's so many bad things. Also, there's going to be cards coming out in um, Chaos. The Chaos. There's not. The net current set, but the set after that. Oh, our September, oh, November set, you mean? Yeah, whatever the chaos you know what you're one talking is. about, yeah. The one with the Link 5. But yeah, there's a card in there that's going to make Mystic Mind even more stupid. Um, so, uh, yeah, this card's inherently, as I said before, inherently broken. Um, the whole, like, you can, your opponent can't play text in there, it's not there, but it's essentially there. I just don't think we need a card like this in the game. Yes, yeah, so we, um, we were shocked that it even... So the fact this the made it, fact it made it past past like the group of people who like look at cards and they're like, well, that's fine. They must have been drunk around the time Mystic Mind came to them. Oh, maybe. Well, they were high off their asses. Yeah. All right, now let's get to the card that has been evading the ban list for what three three formats now? No, I think it's four now. I think it's three. Four because it was still relevant. Well, let's just get on with it. Uh, so you just Goldred. So, uh, let, me, let me read you a nice line of text that I'm not actually going to read. Uh, you may draw four cards from the top of your deck. Return three to the bottom. That is the inherently broken one. And there's this great and phrase. And it's not hard once per hard turn. Per turn. So that means it's not, could, it is, is it once per turn? Uh, no, you can just link into oh, three yeah. different skull deets and draw four. This needs to be limited because the fact that this can make true exodia... The card that says you auto lose. It also in this into also, an FTK. No. And also, here's another thing that makes it. Uh, if we get needle fiber, that just makes Exodia hell of consistent because you have oh my God, you man. have Formula Synchro Fucking and Hyper hell. Librarian as well in that. And did they just recently move Hyper Librarian? To... Hyper Librarian is a two. Yeah, it was. Well, at it's one. a two in the OCG, but that. Pretty didn't much. they move, didn't they unban they did something with it recently it's for the it. past couple of lists it is now in more than one copy that is, yeah. that is the important text the important thing mm -hmm. and, so sorry and here's my thing on Sardisia I personally love the card I think it's a fair yeah, card the card is fair it's just the fact that it's not hard once per there turn is, but they don't have the once per turn thing so we can no not even once per turn once per turn wouldn't work hard once per turn it has to be hard once per turn yeah but I'm saying well I mean by limiting it we're making it a hard once per yeah, turn yeah that's basically how we're fixing it that's how we have to limit, fix the card like listen this is one of my favorite cards printed in the Link era I love this card this card the artwork's awesome if I can play it in a deck I will play it yeah it's awesome but the fact that it's not one hard once per turn is the fact that is it's the de facto, uh, how about three, no? Three show user should not be a thing right now. Plus, we have something we'll talk about in a second. It's still in the game, which yeah, actually that also getting, says draw a card. We're getting to that now, which you're going to see some weird stuff. Next off, we got Nightmare Mermaid and Danger the, the Nessie. Danger Engine as a whole. Danger in general. Nessie's just representing the good ones. It's just, yep. Yeah. You could you could have but we could have put fucking gazelle here anyways, but Nessie's the one everyone yeah, sees Nessie so, and they're like, well fuck, they just make you said gazelle, my guy. Gazelle, yeah. Jackalope. Jack. What? Sorry, I'm saying th there's too many goddamn dangers right now. Does it really matter? Can it all be one now, please? Oh, uh, we'll yeah, be fine. Anyway, so Nightmare Mermaid is integral to the danger engine i mean to the orcus engine and the orcus play strategy because of orchestrated nightmare because orchestrated nightmare um and it just makes and then orcus um i think orcus needs a hit because this is what the ocg did they just got rid of mermaid and the deck is still doing fine over there and let's keep in mind we still have the dangers so there's yeah no that's the big thing people are like oh they did it in the ocg they can do it here uh you also forget the big part of dangers 
Yeah, they have. OCG doesn't have dangers. So like they hit things differently. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say about Mermaid other than I think it needs to get hit. It's it's basically just the Orcus hit. That's it just really makes good. Orcus really strong. And, and, need. and then like, danger because it needs to get hit. At and this listen, point. listen, listen. At this point, I think like danger is in like top has topped every event since it's come out, except Worlds because it wasn't at Worlds. Yes, but I think it's just the fact that, like that these things are inherently splashable. In, in almost in anything, if you want to, if you want to dedicate your build towards, which I know some decks like you could put danger in, in harpies. No, that's I mean that's stupid, but you could. You could. Just the fact digging is a thing. Yes. And then just being able to free link into stuff because there's inherent bodies that are free on the on board. Yeah, that's with the three good ones. That's just what I'm talking about. Because Nessie, them. Nessie yeah. searches you and a jackalope or snake, and then snake and jackalope just are guaranteed bodies. Yep. And then the next ones we get to talk about are... Uh, we're talking about Danger, uh, Danger Thunder Dark Dragon, so... Yep. We would put another Danger here, but we already, we've, we've already talked about the Nessie. So, let's talk about the Guard Dragons real quick. I don't think they're hitting the Guard Dragons They're not going to hit. They might do what the OCG did and just limit Colossus, that's it. Yeah, um... I think they, that's I think that's how they're going to go about they, it. And they, and might, they might limit a main deck one, like Hawk. And then, um, if they are going to hit Guard Dragons, I think they will hit LP. Yes. Because LP gets you the one from Dak. Mm-hmm. LP is the one that... But we picked Argapain because this seems to be the consensus on Zodiac is the most broken one. Good. Oh, by the way, we'll talk about the end. Good Lord, Zodiac. Quit posting ban list predictions. They're all terrible. I know ours isn't overly that great, but... Yeah. But, um, anyway, that's my, that's my thing about the Guard Dragons. They're good, they're inherently good. Do they need hit? Possibly. If they're gonna ban one, they ban LP. Yeah. And then Colossus. Because... The deck's been good since... Me, no, people have been bitching about Thunder Dragons for the longest time, and we kept saying, well, they haven't won a YCS, so why bother? Now they've won now the they've Nationals won and a YCS. And YCS. Now, now you we can, can start bitching. Now well, we even when they won an, a YCS, we were like, oh, congratulations. You're finally up there You're with... You're tied with, with uh, uh, Crank Kids Crank and Kids, World Chalice. World Chalice and Lunar Lights. Congratulations. But now it's won a national, so... I think it's now, won two now. I think it won something in Europe. So now, I don't know. now I think it's time for Thunder to... Yeah. Kind of start leaving the meta a little mm-hmm. bit. We get a blank screen. Uh, next, um, uh, Gazelle. Yeah. This is if we're hitting Solomon Great anyway, it's the only card I think needs to get hit just because This is the only it's the it's the best card. It's they the have. best card in the deck, essentially. It's an it's an And people engine keep piece. saying if this if this does get hit to one, the Salomon Great might take a big hit. But other than that, the deck's probably still functional. I think the deck is in, I think this card is inherently integral for the deck strategy. Yes. And if they want to hit Solomon Great again, this is the one to do it. Yep. Uh, this is not there's not much to talk about about Yeah, there's not much. I mean I guess it's a pseudo FTK. Well, it used to be. Now it's just basically a pseudo OTK. Yeah. And now we get to the fun part. Oh, just we're just gonna. I'm, this is gonna be a three second uh, discussion. The deck doesn't need to get hit anymore. The deck's good. If you hit, if you get rid of mine, don't have to hit anything. The deck is inherently eh. yeah. But mine makes it really good. But if you do want to hit it, engage the two. Sounds about fair. Widow anchor to two maybe, but that you're kind of just pushing to kill the deck at that point. Yep. Which if they do, I would wouldn't even be upset. No, now we get to the point where we show you a list. You ready, Zach? Yeah. Here's All Zach's right. list. So, okay, well, I missed a card. That's hilarious. Anyway, what did you miss? Uh, in the limited section, I forgot Colossus. Yes, I have uh, Colossus. Anyway, so so banned. I have Nightmare Mermaid getting banned. I just think the whole Orcus strategy is honestly held to hell degenerate. Um, and Nightmare Mermaid facilitates that. Pretty simple. Uh, Lim- Mis- limit Mystic Mine, because I don't think they're going to ban it right away. I no. think they're going to give it one more format and see what it does at one. Yeah, and then um, fucking limit its ass. I think the Danger Engine needs to get limited. They've been around well, way too We've long. We've been bitching about them since they came out. And the whole... See, if they didn't... I feel like if the Dangers were just, excuse me, bodies, they wouldn't be as broken. But the whole draw a card thing is making it inherently better. Hell, um, even wouldn't them being hard once per turn on that draw, wouldn't that make them better? Or make them less broken? Yeah, but they, I mean... I, th- I feel like if they had only a once return draw, that'd also be fun. Uh, Skull Deep, because I think I spelled Saryuja wrong. Oh well. Who cares? It's it's a dumb card. Dumb um, that needs to get limited. No no comment. If you watched earlier in the video, you know why it needs to get limited. Yes. And then the last card I have limited is uh, Salad and Great Gazelle, because if they need to, if they gotta hit Salad at some point here. Oh, and then a Colossus because it's hit Thunder. Yeah. Uh, my semi limits. 
Uh, striker engage. Uh, you see the comment over there. It won't, but I can still see it happen. It's yeah. Just, just because, oh, the deck's still good. Let's hit it. Um, and then Solemn Judgment with the two. I think that it can come to two. Yeah. Because let's look at all the like, recent events. No, like, degenerate, like, control decks have really done much. Except Striker. Yeah, I mean, if people only say, well, Guru Control. It hasn't done a damn thing. It's it's like, amazing. I'm the Guru guy who plays the deck a lot. Yes. It hasn't done anything. Unlimited. I These mean, are... Salon and Great might like this. Not they're going to have two extra spots if Gazelle gets Yeah, fan. and then, and then my Unlimited are just cards I'd like to see at three. I want to see Book of Moon at three. The card's fair. It doesn't change anything. Uh, I'm a Ritual Beast player, too. I want Ulti Hawk at three. People are like, no! <laughs> People are probably throwing things at their computer, screaming because the 40-minute Hawk loop. And then uh, Construct can come back to three. The card won't do anything. Yeah. Those are just cards I like to see back mm -hmm. at three because they won't impact the meta in any way. Yeah, then we get... My list is roughly the same thing. Only... It, I forgot the... Construct again. For, for uh, construct, uh, too. Not Construct. Oh, Colossus. Is Colossus. Well. But the only difference is I can see them actually... I didn't put the note because it's the same. The only difference between the two, the ones I have... I don't have Conahawk. Conahawk's fine, in my opinion. But again, I, don't, I never dealt with that 40-minute loop, so... I played it once because um, my butt... I know, I dealt with it at one with Tom, and I still fucking hate it. But regardless, yeah, I can it's see... That, but it goes on way longer. Yeah, I can see Dad coming back to two. Because... For those of you who don't know what that is, it's Dark Arm Dragon. Yeah, Dark Arm Dragon. It's... I feel like the, the, OC, the OCG did it. I can see us doing it because what's two, tell, uh, what's two Dark Arm Dragons gonna do? Uh, I mean, it could... If you need to see, like, a dad deck top. Honestly. I mean, it's it's been on there since Teledad format. Uh, and the Teledad format, yeah. And the Teledad. So, I, I'm, it could come back. I think cards fine if it would come back. Like, I'm sure people who played back then will have PTSD. Like, like but... not even at... Don't even bring it to three. Just bring it at two to see how it... See what, if it changes what, anything. And, and if it doesn't, back. just unban it. If That's it... Un like, like, get off the list. But if it does do something... Just, does something a little bit more, but not as well. You can just leave it at two. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, that's it for me, guys. So, Lawrence, you can close out your video. Yeah, that's that's it for me. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe. Go to his channel and like, comment, subscribe on his stuff. By the time this is out, he should have a new video out. For what? The, the three, the I three think? year anniversary. Of I can talk about that because I know it's going to be out before this because this is probably going to get uploaded, like, next Wednesday. Okay. As of recording this, it's it's still it's like the end of June. So, what about when the ban list should happen? <laughs> I think it'll probably happen within the next week. It should happen like night. It might happen like around the tenth. So I feel like you should probably upload it within this this week coming out. Uh, probably Sunday then. No, I do it like Wednesday, right before the Fourth of July. Just uh, do, uh, so I would, so I would, what I already planned. Alright, I'm gonna end the video, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.